Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we occasionally go live and hang out and chat. I'm your host, E, and today I'm forcing my stream on you. So this past Thursday, I did a book haul, a live book haul, here on the channel from my most recent book outlet purchases. If you're interested, the sale should still be on. Book Outlet is having a $6.99 fiction sale. They are not sponsoring me or endorsing me, but I do get points if you click on the affiliate link down there. So it helps the channel out, helps you out. To give you some context here, I bought a book by Taylor Jenkins Reid called Carrie Soto is Back. I did not read the description before I bought it, and I pretty much instantly had buyer's remorse. Here's what happened in real time. Because these is new books, y'all. These is new books. New books, y'all. So, if you guys remember back in the day when the the books the boxes used to fall from the sky literally what i would do is i would go like this i got a package and then just cut just before you know when it, as soon as it left the camera and then you know i'd grab it and do let's do a package that's how i did it so there's some behind the scene footage for you and it's funny because there was one video where uh i did that and i forgot to cut out the beginning um i took the video down and then re-uploaded it but jen bernardini uh, caught it and she was like I had no idea that's how you did it uh, everyone thought that shell or someone else was throwing them at me off camera okay man I thought this was a hardcover man anyways you guys uh, you guys ever read um, Daisy Jones and the six Daisy Jones and the six absolutely adored that book loved it I have a bunch of this author's books, but I think I have them all now that I've got this one, but I haven't read any of the other ones. Anyways, this one is uh, Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Anyways, Carrie Soto, Carrie Soto is fierce, and her determination to win at any cost has not made her popular. But by the time she retires from tennis, she is the best player the world has ever seen. She has shattered every record and claimed 20 Grand Slam titles. And if you ask Carrie, she is entitled to every one. She sacrificed nearly everything to become the best with her father, Javier, as her coach. A former champion himself, Javier has trained her since the age of two. I had no idea this is a book about tennis, and I'm starting to regret my decision. Uh, but six years after her retirement, Carrie finds herself sitting in the stands of the 1994 U.S. Open, watching her record be taken from her by a brutal, stunning player named Nikki Chan. At 37 years old, Carrie makes the monumental decision to come out of retirement and be coached by her father for one last year in an attempt to reclaim her record. Even if the sports media says that they never liked the battle axe anyway even if her body doesn't move as fast as it used to, and even if it means swallowing her pride to train with a man she once almost opened her heart to, Bo Huntley. This is, this, this is getting worse by the second. Like her, he has something to prove before he gives up the game forever. I'm sorry, but Bo Huntley sounds like a, uh, sounds like a soap opera name. My God, it's Bo Huntley. Yes, I am Bo Huntley, and I have returned. Anyways, in spite of it all, Carrie Soto is back for one epic final season. In this riveting and unforgettable novel, Taylor Jenkins Reid tells her most vulnerable emotional story yet. That would be, it would be, that would be hard to beat Daisy Jones and the Six. But okay, we're gonna we're, we're we'll probably read that one last, and I'll read some of the other ones. You don't want to spend time with Bo Huntley, the stud, right? Yeah. Y'all, I'm, I'm questioning whether or not I'm going to even keep this. Well, it'd make a good doorstop. Bo grasped his racket handle firmly but gently. The same way he... Hang on. We got to do this right. Bo grasped his racket handle firmly but gently. The same way he had caressed Carrie the night before. I felt naughty. I felt dirty reading that. I felt dirty. Fans herself rapidly. Remember the Muriel Hemingway running movie? I'm getting those vibes. Ooh. 
yeah, I'm getting bad vibes from this. I don't know if I can read an entire book about tennis. Oh, whoo, Lord Jesus. Mm. I need a drink because that dried my mouth out. Yuck. I don't know, man. Now I'm mad. It's like a Stephen King baseball book. Finding out a great author wrote about something you have no interest in. Ugh. Someone asked for the, someone asked for a Stephen King theorist video on Faithful, the book that King wrote with Stuart O'Nan. And I'm just like, you know who never leaves you dry? Bo Huntley. That's who. Bo squeezed her boobs like two firm tennis balls in his calloused hands. Uh, uh, don't make me do it again. Don't make me do it again. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Nice detail with the yeah. You gotta you gotta have the calloused hands in romance. This is the first order. That's my bad. So this is only ten books. Ten. Me squeezing the tennis ball? No. Okay. Bo gives new meaning to the notion of taking balls to the face. Okay. Moving on. I hope you enjoyed that little slice of idiocy. But that's all the time I have for you today. If you liked this video and you want to see more stream highlights, or if you want to see more streams in general, let me know down there in the comments. But until next time, I'll hail the chair.